Hey there, and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. As most of you probably know, I'm a really big fan of the Commodore 64. I have a really large Commodore 64 collection, and every time that new hardware or software is being developed for the Commodore 64, I get very excited. So when I heard a new game was being created for the Commodore 64 called The Bare Essentials, I reached out to the developer and asked for a review copy. And he sent me one, really awesome. Uh, the cover looks really, really amazing. Um, very professional. I got the disc version. I got copy 532. It has a screenshot, it has some text and uh, amazing art. So in this video, we're gonna play the game and see what it's like. So, let's go. On software. Cool. There. Graham Axton. Pawn software. Music is kind of cool. <laughs> Very rhythmic bear. I'm playing this on a real 64 using the arcade. Bear and his family face winter so grim, but 350 apples should feed them till spring. An adventure begins. I didn't know bears ate apples. So fire button is jump, and she's very persistent that I should get some more apples. Go. But there's one apple behind you. Central cave. Okay, this, so this is where we live. The kids. Hey, they're happy. Forests. Okay, let's go to the forest, I guess. So space does... Ah, this is the map. Left and right to toggle music. Okay. Hold fire to quit to the title screen. I don't want to. So... I think it, it feels a bit counterintuitive, for me at least, to jump using the fire button. But that is because I played a lot of Jenna Sisters and jump is uh, joystick up. Okay, so can I jump? Yeah, I can jump through those. Probably go like this. Okay, cool. And there's one exit, so that's easy. This is fun. Boom, boom, boom. There are so many, many different sprites. This is cool. No. Yep, got him. So I guess the tongue of the frog is deadly as well. Is there time? No, there's not. Oh, I screwed up. So let's go to this one first. I'm gonna wait this out. I don't think you can kill enemies. I don't have a fire. Option to fire. Ah, darn. Okay. Sorry. So there's an exit there as well. And this is like a central hub where we can go different directions. So jump over this one, go this way, go to the frog. I hit the frog. They have a pretty wide collider, I feel, because I didn't touch the frog. Should I jump over or under this one? I think under. No, not under. Darn! This is pretty hard. Oh, there are a lot of flies. Okay, I, I should probably jump over. No. Okay, this is this this is pretty steep. Okay, I'm I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna chicken out. No. Dum dum dum. Cry. Crap. 
crap. So this isn't going particularly well. Um, I guess this way, no. Okay. I came from this way, so let's go this way. Yeah, okay. This looks more doable. Do your thing. Thank you. It's a pretty steep learning curve. I honestly. No! I just barely made that. Barely. <laughs> Okay, so there's one there, there's an exit there, there's an exit underneath as well. Oh, this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck! Okay, I'm going to get out of here. That's something different. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's rather intriguing. Okay, made that jump, missed that jump, made that jump. Yay, okay, cool. So there's a selection screen here. Extra continue awarded. So, oh, this is like a hub of some sorts. And we can go to different regions. And we have one continue, so cool. Let's go to to jungle or cloudy I feel cloudy will be very nice let's view them both so this is cloudy it almost sounds like the Genesis theme but there's different music in the different regions which is cool there's no fall damage that's good so how does jungle look and sound that's really nice. So different sprites as well for the different regions. This looks hard as nails. I'm not gonna go and do that. Sorry. Let's go cloudy. That looks fun and fluffy. I like fun and fluffy. Are these parrots? I think so. This is gonna suck. Try this one more time. This is my last life, so, um... Go away. Go away, parrot. Oh. I forgot to jump. Okay, so... Okay, so we're dead. But we gotta continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's try jungle. Just so we get a nice feel of uh, of the entire game. I regret this a lot. No, I'm not gonna make that jump ever. So these spiky bits look deadly. Go away. I don't get this. So the first level is is it? Supposed to be this easy, or am I just missing something? What is this? A log, of course. Of course, it's a log. No! I panicked. No. Oh, I jumped too soon. Oh. But uh, we cleared it anyway, so. I really feel that the hitboxes are a little bit too wide for the sprites. Not really sure. But this is... No, this is just too hard. <laughs> I guess this way? Yeah. It'll be a challenge finishing this game because Timing is everything, because... Hmm. Okay. 
Tom is rumbling and energy low. Baron and his family are without food in the snow again. So I just finished playing the Bear Essentials. Well, I didn't finish it by a long stretch, but I finished recording the gameplay footage. And I must say, I really love how the game looks. It's a very well-made, very polished game, and um, the worlds look amazing. There are different areas you can go to. They all have their distinctive look. I love that as well. Very original and colorful sprites, and the entire game palette is just very colorful and, and very good looking. It reminded me uh, of New Zealand Story. I think I mentioned that in the gameplay as well. So props to Graham for creating this very beautiful and polished game. The only two complaints I have about the game are, for starters, the music, which is a bit repetitive. Um, it's different for each area, so that's a good thing, but it repeats itself really soon and it gets very, very repetitive. The other complaint I have is that, for me, at least, the game is too difficult. I consider myself a pretty good retro platform uh, player, uh, every time I pick up Genesis Sisters, I finish the game, I finished uh, Super Mario on various occasions as well. Uh, I feel I'm pretty good at platform games and playing this just made it really frustrating really fast, I felt. And I think that if the skill level, if the levels were just designed a little bit more with um, difficulty in mind, then it would be a more streamlined experience. While now, um, the first level was very doable, the second one was as well, I think, but the third one was hard as nails. I think the levels need a bit more tweaking on that part. I also feel that the jumping is a bit too limited. Uh, you can only jump the maximum height. There is no control over how high you can jump. In Genesis, if you give a little click up, it makes a little jump, and if you keep pressing it, it jumps higher. And that gives you a lot more uh, control, so you can make more delicate jumps, more strategic jumps, and I feel that this game needs that as well. Because the bear always jumps the maximum height, some jumps are, I feel, more difficult than they should be. But as I said before, uh, I love that new games are being developed for this platform, and I think Graham did an awesome job uh, making this game. It looks very polished and um, it's a very nice and very well-made game and I really urge you to support this project and make sure that you buy the game so that more indie games will be developed for the platform. I want to thank Graham of course for sending me this uh, review copy and I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.